What's up guys? Welcome to Clash of Clan. This is JL. And we just had a great revenge. And uh, check our clan war log. And the war we just won was uh against with the uh, UAE uh, Arabic clan. And they they got 43 start and we get 45. We won by 2 start. But if we check all the way back to 65 days ago, there we against to the same clan and uh, is the same clan because uh, there are some members we still remember so it's another it, it's they got same 43 start but we got 33 back the time so uh, actually our clan improved a lot to get better and better after beat up by enemies all the time a lot of time so we get better Unfortunately, the Supercell update, the new update of for two times XP, like double XP for clan experience, um, clan points, whatever, and because of that, I can't show you any replays. They delete all the replays, so that's uh, not not a good part. I really wanted to show you how we got three star. We actually three star a lot of them. Town Hall 10s. They are weak Town Hall 10 anyway. Like, let me show you one. Like, they are pretty weak. The one I 3 star. This is pretty, like, basic. It's a weak Town Hall 10. That's why I can't 3 star it. If it's, if, if it's a high level Town Hall 10, I couldn't. So, um, but I can't show you any replay with that one. However, the new, new clan world we are still. We're going to finish this one in 52 minutes, as you can see. Um, this war actually we did terrible, and we didn't get much three start. And even Tanho nine, we couldn't even get much three start. All this bottom, like Tanho three star, they are not even Tanho. Like they are Tanho six. So actually, we did terrible on this war. But uh, <coughs> excuse me. But the enemy they are even weaker. So uh, I let me show you. There are three replays are great. One of mine. That's my highest. Let me show you first. This base is almost, almost pretty high. Town Hall 10. It's almost maxed out. Uh, I would say the only things are not maxed out are the cannons. So because I use balloon, cannon doesn't really affect the balloons, air tubes much. Like, not at all, actually. So, um... I would consider this is a max base. The only things are not really max is that, like the heroes are pretty low level. So, and this base sucks. I don't know why. It just accident. Accidentally, I I found out a, a great path though, so that I can kill the queen. I can kill the air defense. And let me show you how that how I did it. It just accidentally, I just put a golem here, and I forgot to put my king, and I realized my, and then later. So, it, this is the highest, actually, Town Hall 10 I, I ever 3 star. So, I forgot my hero, like, king. So, and I was focused on lightning spell to lightning all this. Uh, Clan Castle Troop, yes. And then I realized I forgot my here uh, king. So my king actually came out too late. But anyway, it, it didn't hurt that much. <coughs> so, oh, uh, that was a lucky one. So I got the air defense. I was worried about whether I can get the queen. But the queen's jumping out, great. So that was pure luck on that one. But my hero was I. I just forgot my king. That that's all. But my king did nothing actually. So other than that, I learned a pretty good strategy recently. That if you drop up, drop down your balloons and uh, lava hunt, it's better you drop your balloon and lava hunt together and then like. If you have three lava hounds, don't separate them, all three of them. Just drop them together 
and they're gonna make the path like the, right now. They finish the, this right corner, and they're gonna follow the path, and then you just follow um, safe on balloon. When they move to the path, you can drop drop them down. When the lava hound moves the path, circulating like from right up left like this order, then um. On the way, you can drop down some balloons so that uh, they can clean out things faster. So I just found out this path, the circulating path is actually great. Your balloon, actually, the first like couple balloons you're putting down, they don't die because they're just circulating. And if they don't die, it, they're more likely to go to the center, which is mostly Inferno Tower. And the expo in the center, so they can actually you put down one rage spell and freeze spell, so you can wipe out the center. When you wipe out the center, you pretty much got the whole base. Now the second uh, replay was by my clan leader. He has max heroes, so um, to get three star for from this pretty low. Like just new Town Hall 10 or maybe low level Town Hall 10. Not like those terrible and like decent low. It's just, just like new to Town Hall 10 or max out Town Hall 9 stuff. A couple of Town Hall 10 stuff like Inferno Tower and Expo. But because he, he has max out heroes, so it's not a big deal for him. <coughs> Sorry, I'm sick. Um, I want you to focus on how he dropped down the lava hound and balloons. You see, it's counterclockwise, circulating motion. He put in two lava hound per uh, one air defense and a one just last out. So, you see the first couple balloons, they don't die because you circulate, they go into, now you see the center balloon, they go into the center, they circulate in their inner, like, circle. And then you save some balloons for outside, outer circle. So basically, you can, you can, this is a gr great, every, every time when I try this, even a base I can 3 start, I can pretty much wipe out 80% of their defense. Then I have nothing left to clean up. So um, this strategy, like counterclockwise or clockwise, depends on the base layout. You can pretty much this circulation and uh, like balloons. They can actually uh, wipe out most of the base defense. So I just found out like last two war, and I I realized oh it actually worked really well. So that maybe helps me to get more three star. Maybe not. It depends on how how the base is. Now the last replay I'm gonna show you is this guy. This is a um, pretty much max out. Uh, not much max out. Air defense are now max, and cannons are now max. But other everything else is pretty much high level. So. But the attacker is our number 18, is a Town Hall 9 member. How the Town Hall 9 member to start uh, pretty much high level Town Hall 10. And right now, uh, last video I have show you that one. Because I'm not Town Hall 9, if I use Giant and Wizard strategy, and you guys may think, oh, because you're Town Hall 10. So uh, I'm not going to use Town Hall 10 to show you that. Giant Wizard strategy, but that strategy actually is for Town Hall 9. If you're Town Hall 9 and you want to, to start like high level Town Hall 10 to help out your clan, like Clan War, your high level going to 3 star, their low level, but your your Town Hall 9, you can help out with 2 star. So that's, uh, I think that uh, other than Balloon and Minions, this is the best strategy to 2 star Town Hall 10. Uh, with the Town Hall 9. So, how this one work out is you have to clean some Archer Towers. And then you're going to steal some buildings. 
if you see my last video, you know that uh, stealing about 20, if you're Tang Ho 9, you need to steal about 25 to 30 percent. If you can still see, uh, he released some minions on top because there's nothing gonna stop minions. And now, um, they lure out Clan Castle Tube and gather in the pile. I think the balloon gonna kill all this. Let me fast forward. Okay, then the balloon is gonna kill this. Yes. And then you're gonna steal all the sides buildings to about see uh, on the top you can you can steal all these buildings even the cannons so you can use the um, your minions so well some people don't use minions some people use minions only when balloons is there You see, it's already like 30%, 31, 35%. Now he jumped all his giants. Why you don't use Golem? Because you don't have free spell. Giant is the only thing can help you to stop Infernal Tower. Because giant, they last longer. Yeah, and they don't last as long as Golem, but Golem has, is only one target. And Infernal Tower most of the time is multi-target. So if you use Golem, then Inferno Tower only attack Golem and the other like four target is going to target your wizards. So that you can't actually your wizard gonna die like in seconds. So that's why you lost all your attack power. However if you use Dryan and they have about one thousand hit points so they can last about ten seconds for Inferno Tower attack. This 10 seconds with the Rage spell and give 10 seconds to all the wizards behind, they can wipe out almost everything in their uh, range. So that's that's a strategy of Giant Wizard. Why we don't use Golem and Wizard to go wipe whatever strategy? Because um, Golem is n the amount of Golem is not good enough. Uh, to tank all the Infernal Tower. And that that's the same strategy for those uh, Champion League when there's 5 Golems or 6 Golems strategy. 6 Golems with 2 P.E.K.K.A. Go wipe strategy. And that's the same thing. If you bring 5 Golems, you don't need any free spell because the Infernal Tower is going to only attack 5 targets at the same time. You don't need 10 that much. So usually you... Um, for the giant and wizard strategy, you bring about 10 giants. When 5 dies, the other 5 gonna tank again. So that's a great, great actually strategy for Tango 9 member to, to start Tango 10. However, giant cannot last longer. They die very fast. So in this time, like you can't expect them to get many percentage. Them, like the destroy the buildings. Then you have to steal the 20-30% before your giant attack. So that's pretty much the strategy of giant wizard for Town Hall 9. And it's very effective. And you can help your, help your clans out a lot. If Especially your Town Hall 9, you can 2 star Town Hall 10. Then your Town Hall 10 member have um, 3 times to 3 star their Town Hall 9 or, or their town, low Town Hall 10 members. So, um, I think that will be it for this time. If you have great replays or three stars, you can tell me to go to your clan uh, to make a video to help you guys to spread out the good replays. Alright, thank you for your watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.